souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who follow the footsteps of Christ. And since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exult with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Friends, today we celebrate the memorials of St. Cornelius and Cyprian. In the face of the Roman persecutions, many third century Christians apostatized, publicly renouncing Christ and his church. When these lapsi repented and sought readmission into the church, some Christians insisted that they deserved excommunication. Others wanted to welcome them with outstretched arms, oblivious to the wound that they had caused in the body of Christ. Pope Cornelius and Cyprian, the Bishop of Carthage, were one in viewing the lapsi with the merciful eyes of Christ. Both advocated for penance, followed by reconciliation. Both Cornelius and Cyprian received the crown of martyrdom, Cornelius in 253 and Cyprian in 258. United with these holy men, we turn now to our Father in heaven as we acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. <clears throat> love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, love is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially and we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, 
we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present I know partially, then I shall know fully as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-string lyre chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, and you said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he's a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. So what does a story from our Gospel tell us? Jesus commented, uh, Jesus commented, commented in today's Gospel reading about just how quickly popular opinion can change. First, John the Baptist most people were uncomfortable with because they thought his message was too controversial, too radical. They found some reason to discredit him by spreading rumors that he was possessed. Jesus in many ways was a, uh, an opposite kind of figure in presentation. He came, he made people uncomfortable still because he ate and drank with people he came to save, sinners. So they discredited him by spreading rumors, calling him a glutton and a drunkard. These days, everyone seems to have very strong opinions about a myriad of political and social issues. We know how divisive and fickle popular opinion can be. That's what it means to be popular, to change. But we're still sometimes strangely compelled to live up to it. It's confusing, exhausting, stressful. Friends, ask yourself, do I seek balance and wisdom by praying with the word of Christ, that which is unchanging yet ever new, true wisdom, Or do I let myself get swayed by popular opinion?
Friends, let us unite our hearts and lift up our prayers to the Lord, who is loving and merciful. We pray for all members of the Church. May the Lord increase in us the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for those who govern. May the spirit of wisdom guide them in their service, especially in their service to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all families who are facing brokenness and discord. May the Lord strengthen them in their commitment to love one another through times of joy and challenge. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our faith community. May the Lord continue to draw us into greater communion with each other. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our beloved departed. May, may saints Cornelius and Cyprian and all the angels, saints and martyrs, greet them with our Lord in his kingdom. And, this, and today we pray for Ron Wack. Let us pray to the Lord. And friends, we offer any intention that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving and eternal Father, hear and answer these prayers we have brought before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Praise and glory to for our good and the good of all of this world. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian. And may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution Make us, too, steadfast in all trials, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We give them up, o Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of, of the blessed martyrs, Cyprian and Cornelius, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, in which our, in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your Spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And have a blessed day, everyone. Have a great day.